Scuba Scoop is sponsored by. Monday morning, I got up and I, I, I was just filled with anxiety because, hey, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, every place has been a buzz because all of y'all is waiting for my take on the Shilagashumba situation. Can you see nothing, you Ah, you being you of course. I can't help but being you <laughs> Before I get into that, um, Saturday nights in Kampala on TV have become life. For everybody in certain ways friday saturdays actually friday and saturdays but i want to understand in the past what have all these politicians been doing to occupy their time at home because i was shocked that jack bolanya had to tweet that his alcohol is finished he wants to party i was more disturbed when anita tried dancing what was she doing anyway the show is Scoop and Scoop. It's proudly sponsored by Coca-Cola. That's what we do. Let's get it. Where do I start from? Where do I start? You all know what we're supposed to be talking about. So on Friday night, I was actually working on Bukia Deco's Friday nights. I do full dose. And um, phone calls came in raving. Somebody was like, Tina, check out Twitter. Twitter is on fire. I'm like, I need food day. I need a food Um, I got to Twitter. And uh, Sheila Gashumba was being her usual Twitter tricky person. She had posted up something about how um, radio personalities, TV personalities are underpaid and then she talked about her experience in particular with NTV which was the station that was hiring her back when and it spiraled out of, com it, it, it just spiraled out and um, before we know it social media was weighing in on it before we know it daddy drs jumped onto the bandwagon before we know it bloggers lawyers doctors nurses everybody standing up and going like either yay or nay ah, i lied i love it i was having such a beautiful time on twitter because all of you expected me to do my two cents in it at that moment i could not so now that we have rehearsed this is everyone up, up to speed where we are. Yes, Shilaga Shumba calling out her former employers and saying in the media fraternity, presenters, radio personalities do not know their worth because they are underpaid, they are exploited, not appreciated, zero value for your money, blah, blah, blah. It was so confusing. It reached a point where I actually got confused. I'm like, so wait, what was the tweet meant for? Was the tweet to shame NTV or was the, t the tweet to talk about how we are underpaid? And then she had to keep coming back and clarifying, like, for example, for, to be honest, guys, I am not doing this because I'm attacking NTV. Then why even mention them or a product of theirs in your rant? You could have just got up, had a blowy head and just said, you know what? I think we are underpaid, but why are you even calling yourself we? She is not among we. You are not we, we are not you, you are not us, you get. Not we. Because that actually angered very many of us. Now I know you have seen us doing the hashtag, hashtag K. Let me tell you, Shilagashumba. Buobanga wazuku Mwagala fame first before thinking about the bag. Let me give you an example, and I'm going to say this because I've said this story a thousand times. Very first time I started working on TV, I didn't even know my value, I didn't know my worth because it was my very first time. And like every job on the surface of this earth, you have a first time. So I walked into this place and I asked them, what do you want me to do? And they told me what I wanted to do. Same station you're talking about, by the way, that was about 14 years ago. Same station and they told me, well, this is what you do. You show up one time, once a week, we pick you up. We take you to location. We get you your artist. Your producer will actually script the questions. We'll get you a makeup artist. And after those 30 minutes, we'll sit down. We shall pay someone to edit. We shall pay your producer. We shall pray. Well, no, we shall pay for the rent in Serena. We shall do all of those things, right? And you will walk away with 100K tax free after 30 minutes. 
14 years ago. I was a single girl, didn't have a problem in the world. 100K 14 years ago, for me, it was good money. Because I knew I had 400K at the end of the month. But then here's the beautiful thing about TV. TV, radio, this profession that you're saying is so cheap actually goes a very long way. I know people who are doing radio but are earning from just the fact that they do radio. But what they're earning from is not even radio anymore. And they got it through radio. What we're talking about here, Sheila, is platform. Appreciate. I wouldn't be at, at Urban TV right now if... 14 years ago, I hadn't taken that step and gone to National Media Group and asked for a job. Did I even ask for it? I went for a damn... Baby, 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 audition. Now, that put there, I have to be honest and say, what Sheila said did have some truth in it. It did have some truth in it. I do know a couple of TV stations that will tell you our rent is this amount. And that's what we give. Which it is, it, it, it is honestly entirely up to you as the personality to say, <laughs> if you're offering that, I can't go below that. If I, let me go look for somebody who is above that, because that's what I'm looking for. But you also have to understand, Sheila, that certain people actually join professions not entirely because of the money. I was just talking to DJ Bush Baby, and he told me his very first jobs, his very, very first jobs were all free, pro bono. Reason he wanted to get into that same industry, he had that love, he had that passion, so he could wait calmly and get the job. And very many of us have experienced the same thing. Now, you need to understand again, Twiddle Dumb, you, how old is this girl? 20 who? Tata wanga eba dat woga nila nunga wa ine miyaka abidi. You know what? Now, I don't even know where to start with this whole Sheila Gashumba thing. First of all, Sheila, when I joined TV 14 years ago, I knew there were too many beautiful girls who could come and stand on television, wear nice makeup and talk. Did you add value to yourself to move from that kafif take? Did you? Because when I walked into TV, I understood that this car 400K may not even be enough. I wanted to learn everything. I learned how to use a camera. I learned how to edit. I learned how to script. I learned how to produce. I learned how to direct. Because in TV, again, we are paid for what you do. That is just how the cookie crumbles in Uganda. So imagine if I am getting a 50K a day. From this very show, imagine if I'm getting 50K to come here and shout for you for 30 minutes. And after getting off this chair, I go downstairs to office and I get another 50K for editing. I get another 50K for producing. I get another 50K for scripting. And I get another 50K for camera work. In one day, how much money is that? Do the math. You are not the very first person who has had a job that was not satisfactory. But you see, that is this thing called life. You have to keep evolving with the times, with the norms. You came on TV when you were eight years. You were eight years. And you tried to sell us the whole, I'm a bougie girl. And now it's not working because it's not practical, not here in Africa. So you never added any value to yourself, to your work, to your skill, <laughs> to your trend. All you knew how to do is to slay you thought slaying was going to keep your value up there you thought when you wear two thousand dollar shoes that will make ntv go like ah we can't we can't lose hope. we can't lose those shoes sheila if you made bad choices one this girl started working at the age of eight isn't it at the age of eight your father badly desperately wanted you to become something like he says TV's manya best personality in Bwagwali Wakat. If you did such a good job, where is she at? First of all, these are the confessions of a very struggling woman. I'm seeing this. Sheila's problem is not that she wants, she wants to do so much for the industry. Trick, you happened to do all the things I told you not to do. I have sat here so many a time and I have ridiculed this girl and told her, look here, Sheila, a time is going to come when there is not a company alive when there is not a brand alive when there is not a man alive who will want anything to do with you if you don't pace yourself if you don't slow your roll now all this is happening to you and it's when you stand up to begin saying they don't pay us well they are exploiting this one you and who Sheila you and who you and who Sheila personally the Zange sentence you call even if you came and made an inquiry at New Vision 
I saw all of you trying to make noise about how everybody else is getting 50k. What are we getting? Uh, while you are having fun with that in your downtime, please do take a minute to Google about Vision Group and what our net worth is and how our structure is. You will understand that we are actually not exploited. It depends what you want exploitation, what, what you want exploitation to be. So explain to me this, Sheila. You come on TV one year. Bakusubi do chu same. Osiga de the same. You cannot touch a camera button. You cannot do anything apart from come and sit there and be pretty. Bakuwe obka debutan. Boyagala. For those 30 minutes. Think of it as if you're owning a business. It's a capitalist set everywhere. Think of it if NTV was your business and you had to spend that much on that little. Why am I saying that little? I don't want to say anything. I don't want You might be here. She was there saying, boo, they make truckloads of money out of us and we make so little. Yo! Yo! Don't let the likes and the follows fool you. When it comes down to pressing and crunching these numbers, your likes and follow don't apply. First of all, the first rule of making anything beautiful and milking from it is exclusivity. What exclusivity was this girl giving NTV? The same ish you would do on set is the same ish you would do in a bar, is the same ish you would do at a school kadanke, it's the same ish you would do on social media. So at that point, if anybody wanted Sheila Gashum, Baba Sobolo Musanga, ku platform Ngachi Kumi, as a company, I would want all those people who are going platform Zendala Zona, Babere ku platform here. You get what I'm saying? But you're out here giving them out. About Facebook, about what day, about Instagram, about what day, about Gundi, about what day. NTV, your boss is looking like, wait, I thought the point as to why you're here is that all these numbers can converge here. And that's why I keep telling people, people used to ask me, Tina, why don't you do billboards? Why don't you do stuff for yourself and all of that? Do you know why I don't do that? Because I'm trying to give my employer a chance to get exclusivity out of me because then, when I give him this exclusivity, my value, my worth goes up. Again, another thing you need to understand, baby girl. Ooh, child, I feel like I am preaching. Another thing you need to understand. TV is not all about dressing up anymore. And it's not even us, the people in the TV world who are dictating. It is the masses out there. People are tired of seeing this. People want to hear this. So if you have zero content, mukatweko. Ngaku, tuku kolerechi. For you to come on national television and tell us, oh my goodness, blue never works right with white. Or better yet, you can always dress something green with something red. Trick, I like my colors. I could have done that at home. You had zero content. Reason why you were never a host, you were a co host. Now, your strengths and your weaknesses, they know them and they saw yours. That is why from the jump, even when you were just a youngin, they couldn't let you run a full show. You had zero and on be Empty head, nothing. You thought being light-skinned and walking around looking pretty is your ticket. No, it doesn't work like that. atali one. You know why we fall in love with content? Because content will keep evolving. And it keeps evolving for the better. You keep growing. Content is life. Content is like breathing in and out. It takes you forward to the next day. Every time they think they know you, they come up and they're like, ah, oh, you know what? Do you know why every, let me give you a perfect example, Sheila. Do you know why everybody on Twitter and different social media uh, was, was actually begging for my take on it? Do you know why? Ask yourself that. Why everybody on social media was like, I Aninde, mean, what Tina has to say about this? It's my content. Because you may hate what I look like, but you know for a fact I'm going to say some ish that's going to catch you off guard. Do you have that, Sheila? Do you? Do you, Bettina, who, but, but, there are a bunch of stupid girls on TV. Do you have that? Even Zahara, Zekambo, get it. Even Zahara, Toto. Apart from her jumping on a microphone, screaming, and going on TV, screaming, and walking around butt naked, to be honest, when you look for the content, do you think if you threw that girl out of the life she's in, no mujamulugambo, no gamba katigwengenda kute kamu lifestyle and entertainment, na yeah, this side, yeah, information, can she? 
you have to be able to have so many sides about you that any time you can catch a check. But no, you trick sat there and thought because oh my God, I am so and so mbwagwe. <laughs> mbwagwe. Musa sira kona mwe kampani eziba kozesa. And then after that, she had the guts to be like 50k, 50k. You, idiot, your father accommodated you from the age of eight. You just moved out of your father recently when you got a con man to take you out of your father's house. So where has your money been going? And then, oh, still, oh, blah, But now, I'm going to about finances. You know, not your tweeting. Make sure your kids are financially literate. Because this idiot said that her makeup was 80K, her hair was 300K. But her paycheck was 400k. It's called living within your means. It's called living on a budget. A major budget. I loved what Robin Chisitu had to say. Because... I came to TV. I came to TV when Robin kissed to. Uh, no, I was on TV actually already. When Robin joined, I remember she was with us, I think, for about three months and then I left on TV. So she knows, because that's the time that this car idiot came in. At Roy Robin, you have your good. Your father bought you a space to join that company. Which also makes me feel sad for the company if you can be twisted into something like that. To know someone has zero talent, nothing, and then you throw them there, but she was eight. We'll forgive them for that. They thought she would grow into something. So, your father begged and paid and bribed and did something we do not know but mbu. That's what he did for you to get that opportunity. And even when you got in there, you were not just a lazy bitch. You were just the type who didn't want anyone else who is doing their job right to keep it because you wanted to stay a constant. She wanted to stay a constant. You tried getting clay fired. You did so much nonsense. And then... <clears throat> <laughs> you are the same trick saying you were exploited. Uh, let me tell you how TV works, people. You walk into your HR's room, they're like, okay, Tinder, so your show is a 30 minute show. This is our guidelines, this is our contract, this is how much we're earning. It is entirely up to you to negotiate. Now, your father actually went into that HR meeting and negotiated for you a 50k. 10 years down the road, you skinny microorganism, you think you are going to come and tell us 10 years down the road that, oh my goodness, they're being exploited. Nyan, 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 nyan. 30 minutes. I had to say it. I had to say it. Y'all have to forgive me for this, but this girl has just acted me in ways I cannot understand. She is the true embodiment of an entitled millennial. This girl has refused to have an honest day of work in her life. And she still has the audacity, the sheer nerve, to come and tell us that we are being exploited. You and who? You and who? I have three kids, I'm a single mother, I live in a beautiful house, I have everything that I want at MBA to Sako. How am I doing that on a major salary? It's called a budget. It's called living in your means. It's called forgetting that the world is not about likes and follows. It's called living the hard, cold truth. Now you're out there, shit is looking really shaky, and now you want to come out and start, I'm going to start an organization on your own, you're going to myself fully. You're going to go And I didn't even want to bring this issue out. This girl is just tired. She's desperate, a tiny worker. I mean, it's sad, but for a person who just had to go undergo uh, two miscarriages, <laughs> this girl doesn't need a phone. She needs a therapist. This girl needs a therapist. She needs rehab. She needs attention. She needs a hug. She needs a kiss. This girl needs to be taken away from Marcus. And this girl needs to stop talking to her daddy. Because her daddy is the problem. Frank Agashumbo, you mean you don't know what's a father? And to have a siru, but to have a kama too. To have a kanga a siru. Mbu TV ya liempa deko sente. Bali bansa sura 10 million. My dear, that same TV you were talking about was owned. There was a guy, na better. He had two TV stations in it. Edibo ya gana na ajiguza kin karisa. So you tell me he sold that one off and he could afford to pay you 10 mil so that no one watches you. Who watch smart TV? Who? 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 But I'm like, out to siru waza. We know it. But what you're not going to do is try to force how bad your lives are upon us.
Now, if you feel your lives are too good, y'all two idiots should have stood in a line together and just say, you know what? We are not working with Ugandan TVs. They underpay. Go open up your own TV station. Give your daughter a high, high, high salary and start employing people so that at your place, at least you can say we are not underpaid. Sheila. You are so entitled. Tata wo ya kuonona. Tata wo ya kuonona atoe chinsa nyula franka bulibu alaba mwala wenga akole bintu nga bino. Amula bisa. Because this man deserted his other kids to raise a superstar. No jaku Facebook live omu sajo mkulu nga gwe. Mbungo li tugamba endorsements za mwala wo. Baba anga ya liya inanyi inji. Emituwale etano wache jimu menya. Luachi. So she had the most endorsements. Ziri wakati. I built a brand. What brand did you build? You built up a brand only for it to crumble because you did not know how to build a brand in the first place. Oka kuzende me. Echfande me. Nishowa akurize. And now you don't have a way. You honestly don't have a way of reverting this ish. So you have resorted to cheap antics of coming on social media and telling us you're putting 20 million. No. Daddy dearest, no. Get that 20 million, give it to your daughter, let her go and find something to do. Atuleke! You do not disrespect all of us who wake up in the morning and come and awaka 50k with glee because we know how to earn it. And most importantly, we know how to distribute it, how to budget it. We know how to live on our 50k. Huh? And then you're here saying, NTV Kenya, it pays a lot more. Honey, look at your economies. NT Yo, Kenya's TV section, I hate to say this, is light years away from us. That is why they can't afford to pay their presenters and listeners and all of that the way they do. Their economy is totally different from ours. You have to start looking at things in a bigger, brighter picture. This idiot was seated in a box like this and took on something that she couldn't understand. The mathematics of what you're earning as a freelancer. Zero taxes paid. For 30 minutes times 20 days. How are you going to complain, you idiot? How? For a girl who brings nothing but her skinny brown self to the table. How are you going to complain? How? Huh? What was her show about? Styro? Where you just go and sit and watch a lot of ear and you come dressed up in that and you think that we are going to be like, Oh wow, she's so fashion forward, fashion forward in Gabanyoko. This is why I keep telling people when I talk about my kids, it's something that I talk about with passion because this industry has taught me where things can go wrong. If Franka Shumba had got up and told his daughter, we're going to make you a star, we're going to make you all of this, and told her how to manage her money, and told her that life is not about people screaming your name, there's another thing that's at the back. When the screams die out, you're by yourself, you're by your lonesome. What would you do with that time? You needed to raise your daughter and make her appreciate and value money. We are rich. We are rich. You and who? At this moment. You and your daughter look like big clowns. Big clowns. Teddy company You are radioactive. And you cannot blame this on us. Blame it on yourself. If I was your employer, I would also give you less than 50k. You know why? That's the truth. You're just another beautiful girl who comes on television and says lines that have been written down for her and shows up at every party wearing the fanciest clothes but has nothing more to go on by. Nothing. Nothing, Sheila. How do you want to know? All the achievements you have got in your life, you couldn't get on your own. Your father had to get them for you. Down to the TV that you're ridiculing, that helped you get platform enough, big enough, big enough, for you to actually get all those endorsements and all those travel plans you're talking about. That is how bad it is for you. Tolina Mulamwa. You are not something any company would want to spend on because there's another you every five years. Yeah, I'll say it again. There will be another Shilagashumba 
every five years there will be a young ambitious girl who just likes the limelight every five years so explain to me if i'm a smart businessman why i should waste on you when i can waste on something valuable when i can waste it on it's not even wasting hmm? explain to me as a business person i would rather Get me a tina, yes. I'm going to put myself there because in the way I will now, I will work. I will work because there's a lot more content in Peza. On the one who politics in Guayo, the one who learn on Guayo, the one who take some sports in Guayo. I tell you, you're not going to be able to come No, take him a bigger camera in Guayo. That is what they call diversifying. That is what they call knowing your worth. Now you have been throwing around that word loosely. But what worth do you have? I know my worth. You know why I know my worth? I created that worth. I sat down one morning and I said, I will be worth this much to this company if they ask me. Why? Because I can do this, 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 and I'll get you the money back. So if I can convince my employer that I can do 10,000 things and make him earn more money, why wouldn't he want to give me my money? Now I know apparently, because someone called me and told me this is another one of your regular stunts. You get bored and you try to start this nonsense. Honey, concentrate on healing. A miscarriage is not something I want to talk about. It's a very painful thing. And it's not just physical, it's up here. Mental. Mental. Now to go through it twice. And on top of that, to have a, a despicable human being like Marcus by your side. Bakufula chisimula munyumba. For a girl who had the chance to make so much out of her life, you threw it away and now you're here, prancing around, screaming for us, unfair, unfair. Twalio nawe. Twalio nawe. Now, TV personalities and radio personalities <clears throat> may not make the most money. But yo, you forget one thing. It's not about how much you make at the end of the day. You will find tons of us who you're saying earn 50k. Most of us are into farming. Most of us have so much ish on the law that you don't even don't know about most of us are running pr firms from the, from our houses without you even knowing most of us are writing that ad that is playing on your radio television on your radio in the evening most of us are scripting that ad that is actually going to be up on a billboard there is plenty to go by and there is money there is money your lack, your lack of You don't want to work. Church tooth. Makasatebo ya kule tero busente na bionona. Katibu wedewo. Oliawo. Tocha ina wosle ingida wakola ne ka challenge ka utaweza na bantu ne bakuvuma. Cause you ruined it for yourself. You thought being a Kim K was going to make things oh, oh we shall talk. This is one thing people forget. Just being a topic. <laughs> we can make you a topic. We can even make you trend on every social media platform. But do you know what you want? Get out of all of that. Pesa. Money. The bag. Your bank balance won't reflect that heavily. It won't. So here is the thing, Sheila. What you said, it was wrong. It, it was right. I don't mind my employers giving me a boost, because if they give me a boost, they're also going to expect a boost out of me. That simple. If we ask for more, they're also going to ask for more. Now I'm glad you're asking for more. But you of all people shouldn't be asking for more because we know if the employer asks you for more, there is nothing. Will there be anything? Now thank you for standing up for us. 
But do you know how we fight for ourselves, you dimwit, you and your father? Do you know how we fight for ourselves? We walk into an HR's office and we tell them this is my worth. And they ask what else can you do for us to give you what you want. And we say what we can do. And we always come to a good negotiation where we all walk away happy. Win-win. Now when I feel that this salary that I have here is not enough, I will not throw my employers a tantrum. No. I will leave this employer and look for one who is in a salary scale that I want. I will not go to Twitter and act like a stupid human being. And it's sad that she actually had a good message embedded in there, but then she played it wrong. Woo! As for her father, Frank, Frank, turn now, go. Turn now, go to speak on certain things. Your daughter has embarrassed you in ways that you don't have to. I get it. I get it. A parent is supposed to ride or die for their child. But to what extent? Spare the word, spoil the child. You were supposed to let this girl hit her own rock bottom or CDK. But every time she's hitting rock bottom, you're there with arms wide open, so she will never learn. Never. Who is going to run this girl's life? Who? You have supported her stupid ideas. You have supported her lifestyle. You have supported all the things that have put her in a predicament like now. You coming on social media and shouting, she has the most endorsements. Maybe I have 20 million. Who is Tevi Tugasa Frank? Because at the end of the day, the cookie already crumbled. She is radioactive. Not a single soul wants to work with her because you never know how it's going to go with her. She'll show up at work twice when she gets a new boyfriend. She'll disappear for six months. She's just like that. She'll show up at work for one month and when there's a new buy in town, She'll disappear for another month. And yet, all of that she's doing, Muno Teddy, Teddy, Ali Kugago, Frank, we actually, we can't even say the apple didn't fall far from the tree. No. You mirrored yourself through your child. If you're seeing the mistakes that your daughter has made, I don't want you to just look at that poor girl and think to yourself she has made mistakes. No, I want you to look at yourself in a mirror and say, those are the mistakes I made. Every time you look at Sheila and how the world is screaming at her and how the world is going to treat her if she doesn't wake up, those are the mistakes that you've made. They are not hers. You sheltered her, you made her walk on ice, you made her do everything, put her up on a pedestal. But then you forgot whenever you put somebody up at the pedestal, yo, it is very lonely at the top. Can I say that again? It is very lonely at the top. If there's anybody who knows the word lonely, that girl knows lonely. She knows lonely. So before you come into this whole social media, make it buzz, it was fun. I had an interesting weekend. I did. I thought I was actually going to say the mostest, but then I, it, it hit me. Why am I wasting my content on two people who lack it? This is content I could put out on YouTube. I could make Sheila Gashumba a case study on how not to raise celebrity kids and why you shouldn't if you're not ready for it. I could, I definitely could. But it's my civic duty to put certain people in place. So Sheila, here's what I'm going to tell you to do. You know, you called my friend the moment the whole thing broke out and you were asking not to be bashed. Well, I didn't bash you today. I had a conversation. I'd like to think this was a conversation, wasn't it? It was a conversation. Here's what I'm going to tell you, Sheila. It's not too late to redeem yourself. It's not too late. Yes, I know companies may not want you now. We also don't want you. To be honest, we don't. You just ask us. Sheila is the only Ugandan personality I know who just pisses off people for no reason. Even when they don't have a reason to, to get pissed off. 
This is what you're going to do. You're going to get out of Marcus's life if you want shit to go well. Get out of Marcus's life. Go get you some counseling. Go get you some therapy. Look after you. Emotionally, physically, in every way. Look after you. Stay away from your father. And I'm not saying this in a bad way. Because I have realized your father's toxicity or his, his level of absorbing toxicity is what is actually rubbing off on you. So stay away from your daddy too. And build yourself up afresh. There is nothing wrong with that. We've had whores, we've had whores who have come out of this type of thing. How can you stand and you tell people you earn 50k? They're going to stand when I stand here, I No gamba bantu, I earned 50k. They were exploiting me. Nenga, all the flights that you were catching, <clears throat> Sheila, all the flights you were catching came with an NTV's approval. Because whenever you'd be going to the consulate, you would use them in order to get a visa. Even BET, how you finna bite the hand that once fed you? And it was a full body meeting with us in entertainment. We were like, Ajay at Wongere coach. What's she going to do? We bring the numbers. What numbers? Apart from those numbers, watching what she's doing on TV and also repeating the same thing on social, they do not reflect financially. So, leave everything behind. Sit down. Take a bit. Try to build yourself up again. Get off the scene. She just needs like two, three years. If this corona thing ends, if your father loves you so much, he needs to fly the skinny girl out of this country. So that she can reevaluate life. Kuba one. Jack Fira where them can and your mana wang. Go fachi. The likes and the follows, because now that we know you are earning that little, we have confirmed the flights, we have confirmed the men, we have confirmed all these things that we actually knew but didn't just want to bring up. You was low-key hoeing. Low key, it's not even low key, you was a low key ho. So go and build up yourself, rebrand. Yet I tell you about that work, Ganida. Mo branding, eh? Mo brand, and I give a brand. Where is that brand? Where is that brand? Let me tell you, people like Frank Gashumba actually think they understand the dynamics of television. No, Frank Gashumba, you do not. I saw him bashing my boss about how we get, we're getting the 40% cut and bashing him how he just got a good deal. You're being too myopic. This is a corporation that employs over 4,000 people. <laughs> you need to look at the bigger picture, but of course that's why Mr. Robert Kabushenga cannot respond to him. Because he knows this is a, cl a clown. A chuckle a minute. You guys f***ed up, you f***ed up on your own. If she was a brand ambassador then, good for her, we saw it. Because even if she got out that portfolio right now, they're just going to look at this girl's past, her history. You can tell the future of a stock from its history. Now for people who love money, you understand what I mean from its history. A stock. I'm going to tread like this. No. I'm not just so much. And I, there are times I sit in this country and I'm like, what am I doing here? Why am I dealing with people like this? As in, he even added in journalists. People should beg you. Do you understand the dynamics of, of the things you're talking about? Do you understand the dynamics that work within this industry? Just because you put your kid through an industry in a media section like this, a very small one, you thought you had understood the industry totally. Did you do your research? All of you, you and your daughter, did you do your research into why the rats are the way they are? You need to sit down with people like Joe Elisa Abidia. 
he understands. You need to sit down with people like um Banji, what do you want to have a kugwava with them on TV? Who have actually read TV like an open book? Na hicho tagen na kola. Kujano le tobu fedebo. No lo was all okuba wan or ina one. Tetu kukwate. You meant a live video. And I was looking at you, I'm like, I'd like to thank the heavens above that this man is not in any way close related to me. Because that would be sad. First rule when you have kids, man, have discipline to be a good parent. Because <laughs> it's hard, I know. Now, Frank, you and your daughter can go on 10,000 pages and scream and yell and wail. But speaking for Team 50K, we are doing just fine. Team 50K, it is so fine. And Sheila, that whole thing of saying that artists pay us, I don't know if you noticed it. Nowadays, pretty much every company does not take it. But what's even more important, nowadays there is a mutual respect. Because our artists bridged a way for us to talk to them. Social media is open. An artist will call Nangambanyine a new song that dropped. Do you know why you won't ask that artist for any money? Because you also want what he wants. The numbers. The masses. You will gladly beg him for that song. Ajano Kuub, yeah? Just for you to have it exclusively. So, Mulekera wo kulimba abantu. Shira genda wefeko. I know things with Marcus are bad, but Genda we feko. Totu kubira andulu. Totu woganira. Our kafif teke is okay. It doesn't mean that we don't want it to be put up. When it's put up, guess what? If companies decide to put that money up, we're also going to have to put up our content, our, 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 our ability to do a thousand things. They're going to expect a lot more for that, from us. Some of us will survive that avalanche. Because we learned that a long time ago. Most of us won't. That is how finally TV is going to get what's right on television. Susan Ochola, I saw you. I saw you trying to come at me. You bitch with inflatable boobs and a horrible British accent. Don't let me come for you twice. Don't. Abanabe wakula na betororo bacha akulina ko wabu chafu bunji. Nja kuwa ni kankuteke walie bintu biononeke. Now concentrate on looking after your dying husband in peace. Let that man have some good days. And selling your cheap wine and trying to live a life that we all know is just mirrored. Don't come for me. I mix mine. I don't hold around for it. I mix mine. Whether it's 50K, 20K, Susan, Deroy, Ochola, I make mine. My paycheck comes with my name. Mine. It was not transferred through another man. It was not given through anything. Mine. Shut up, bitch. Go concentrate on getting plastic surgery done because those boobs are about to leak if they don't open up these borders. Who else was coming at us? And this one, I'm saying it for all my fellow presenters and radio personalities. You know the things you have done. People like Val, people like um, Dr. Mitch Egwang have established themselves in ways that we don't care to talk about. And they got all of that from this platform. This is a platform that if you're given this platform, you might forget you have a salary. This platform. So Sheila, shut up. Shut up. This platform can pay you 20 times more than its actual salary, and you know it. <coughs> untaxed. Untaxed. Chokango mkaza atunda wali oemichungwa at some point. I know kusasula kesi siye, but this skinny, scrawny bitch is complaining that she earned 50K. Untaxed 50K. <laughs> Who else tried to come at me? Mbonya's people. I am not paid for Mbonya's stories. Oyo ye muvuma for free. How can you people be so myopic though? 
Every job is going to be exploiting you at some point. Look at it as a business owner. You also want to make a profit. You want to make a dividend. That is why you opened up the business. So what makes you think agenda kusasira akugabire oli musiru ya jiguranga ya jajao? It's just how the cookie crumbles. Better yourself, put yourself in positions that can help you earn a lot more. That's it. And not just that, make sure you deliver. Sheila, you never once delivered. <sighs> At the end of the day, this is what I'm going to say. To all my presenters, radio personalities, we always never get along. And I'm glad by I'm glad we don't. It's a good thing. You have no idea why we don't get along, but it's a good thing. But one thing I'm going to tell you is don't let nobody disrespect your hustle if it's you who's living that hustle. Don't let nobody disrespect it because they couldn't use theirs the right way. We know one too many amongst us who has done beautiful things. With all the money you've been making from the age of eight and your father and your man, toli na koli na wakako. Naka. Mpozi iPhone, atena yote wajigula. Musaja ya kuuba na ajigula, cha kuuba na agula. Toli na kako. Ojawa no sinikira amanyo kubantu haba kolede deza abwe mbwagwe. Chokanga toya gala na kola. Garcia. I think I got off everything I had off my chest, didn't I? Okay, I mean, I could go on, but I just felt like we needed to put this to rest. We needed to put this to rest. The message was a beautiful message, Sheila. We would all appreciate it. But before you sent out that message, you were supposed to think. And I keep telling you people, you always have to think first, then type. Not type first, then think. It's a bigger issue than just that small lane kawaba dem. On both ends, on me the presenter and on the company. Anyway, uh, that was that. Uh, at <laughs> at one is my Twitter handle. And on Facebook, we are Scoop and Scoop and Atinafius1. And on Instagram, it's Atinafius1 with an H. Not forgetting on Snapchat, it's still Tina Fierce One. And to all of you, my beautiful people there who feel exploited, the nurses, the doctors, the everything, I have the same advice. We don't have the, we don't have the best economy. The companies look like they're making money. But before you begin saying you're exploited, look at the different things and look at ways in which you cannot be exploited. If you have one job, you can couple it up with three jobs. There's nothing wrong with having a supplementary type of salary in your life. I mean, think bigger. Think, think a lot much more bigger. I'm out. Peace.